Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 41 to 42. It is a rainy day, so it's a beautiful time for me to read. I love it when it's raining outside as I read. It just sets the mood. But let's go ahead and get started. And you guys know the rules, why the blurs are up. And you guys can also support me on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Wow. Okay. Whew. Uh. Oops. I must have heard wrong. Her grace is leaving? I thought you were going to stay with us for good. That's absolutely out of the question. What's the matter? I just heard something break. The teacups. What's wrong with you, boy? Her grace. She's she's leaving soon. My apologies. Now, please excuse us. Please say something, Father. Tell her not to go. Someone warm has finally come here to this cold place with no human touch. This can't happen. You don't deny either, Father, do you? Forget the teacups. Just take him away. Poor kid. I know you agree with me. Please, l let me go. I I'm not done finished yet. Hold on. First of all, I did figure there'd be something behind this marriage, but a one-year contract? From what I hear, you've been actively engaging in estate's affairs, and the same goes for the recent incident. Why would you... I don't even know where to begin. I think this is enough for today. Everyone needs some time to think about what Her Grace has said. Yes, that's a fine idea. Why? They're holding back a lot of emotions. Uh, huh? Daniel Moulton, look what you've done. What an embarrassment. You should be thankful they let it slide, but let go of me. Why, you little... I can't work in this kind of environment for long. I'm only human after all. This is as far as my lo loyalty goes. <sighs> That's exactly why I can't retire, even at this age. I'm still serving his grace because of you. So you admit it too. Huh? Is it true? Is a Grand Duchess leaving? I think the marriage was a one-year contract to begin with. What should we do? I can't possibly afford to work without her. I think you're gravely mistaken about something here. Her Grace is not a retainer of this family. She did not get married to work here. <laughs> and lower your voice. If anyone hears you. Uh. Her, her Grace is leaving? Oh, no, not in front of the kid. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 41. What a fine day, but I thought it would rain because of how windy it was yesterday. Oh, oh, your grace, is that a party invitation letter from the princess? Yes, that's right. I hear it's going to be such a grand party. This time his grace will join you, will he not? Well, I don't think so. I'll have to ask him. Huh. <sighs> She's 
having a little bit of a flashback from yesterday's conversation. The Grand Duke did not return to the room last night, nor did he come for breakfast. Uh? He did not look like he'd been sleeping or has slept. Ugh. I've never seen him sit here before. Even when he stopped by just at once to talk business, he just stood there and left right away. I bet the talk yesterday was him curious about something. I know it's rather late. But I'd like to apologize for mistreating you when we first met. Huh? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Gotta sneeze. You died twice because of me, and the second time was intentional. I fed you my blood again only based on my groundless assumptions. Had you not awoken again, I did it merely for my sake, but I should never have done that. At that time, I... If you had not asked me to investigate, no one would have found out that Gen had been abusing little Isleti. Perhaps we'd have remained clueless forever. It's all happened because I turned a blind eye. Thanks, thank you for giving me the chance to right that wrong. <laughs> to be honest, I actually don't know how I should apologize to you. And I'm sorry for treating you as if you're not part of the, our family. If what you said yesterday is true. <laughs> Is he asking her to stay? It's fine. My nose is runny now, so I'm sorry if you guys hear me sniffing a little bit. I might pause in between just so I can wipe my nose and maybe get some allergy meds. I hate it when like spring is about to approach and my nose starts acting up. It's fine. I know that a few mere words are not enough, but still, I figured I should apologize. Where did you sleep last night, Your Grace? In my office. Did you have, did you have breakfast? I asked the servants to bring some sandwiches for a quick bite for lunch. Let's eat together, if it's all right with you. I'll also ask them to bring us some soup. Mm? I'd like that. Oh, I saw some Imperial officials in the house. Are you going to the palace soon? No, I've already met with them, so there's no need. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 42 What is it? The two of you are like lovebirds. His grace has come to visit you himself. I can't wait for the party either. I guess it's a relief that others see it that way. There's no doubt that he's taken good care of me, but that aside, I thought he'll let that incident pass. I never imagined he would apologize for it. He's so unpredictable, and also... Oh, and... <laughs> the former Duchess told me this morning that I no longer need to tend to the household affairs, but I still want to keep learning. If it is too if it is difficult to allow me to engage in the affairs, please let me watch at least. Do as you please. 
there's no need to walk on eggshells around my family, and I'll tell her about the contractual marriage myself. He even said that he'll help me. After living with him under the same roof, I've learned that he's rather quiet and circumspect. It's almost unbelievable that he acted so impulsively back then. My apologies for yesterday, Your Grace. I didn't think my son would behave so shamelessly. He's being, he is being disciplined. It's fine, actually. I was glad that he was so frustrated about me leaving. Although it did leave me speechless, then you do the work from from now on, father. <laughs> the way he's like fighting back, you do all the work from now on, father. What is it? I beg your pardon, your grace, but young master selfie found out about you leaving soon afterward. Uh, I am at fault, your grace. Either he's going to throw a little bit of a tantrum, or he's going to really ask her, like, please don't leave. Oh. My lord, her grace would like to see you. <laughs> oh. I didn't think you would be here. You seem rather occupied of late. I'm not busy today. How was school today? How's learning? It's fine. That's good to hear. After all, it's not like one can always go to school with ease. You still play with Asleti every night, don't you? Asleti actually came and boasted all about the desserts you bring her. Uh, oh. Um, oh my gosh, a death grip. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did it without thinking. It's fine, it just took me by surprise, that's all. His grip is so strong, but he's only nine. Oh, selfie. I hear that you know I'll be leaving. Oh. oh. I... I thought you liked his grace. Are you really going to leave after the year is up? Why? Can't you keep staying with us here? Uh, back then, bringing up the contractual marriage was unintentional. But I thought it would be fine because everyone was bound to find out about it one day. Now, I see I took it too lightly. The respect that she has for him, the fact that she got down to his level and to talk to him instead of like talking down on him, that's how you know like this adult respect this child a lot or like adoring, like she adores or love him. Just FYI. <laughs> Selfie, even if I leave, our friendship won't change. I know that deep in my heart. I consider you my friend, Selfie. I'll come visit you, I promise. Besides, I still have plenty of time left as a Grand Duchess. <sighs> All right. Okay. Well, that's a wrap for the two episode. It's, it's bittersweet. It kind of shows, of course, you know, all the adults are very kind of like to themselves, but all the younger people in the group do express their feelings like, hey, can you stay? Why are you leaving us? You know, they're so confused. But I know the adults have to be composed and be like, okay, fine, whatever. But I know deep down, they're really sad about it. They really have a liking to her. They've grown to love her or like or love her. So it's... It's a nice change of, you know, feelings because there's been a lot of drama going on, a lot of tension and, 
you know, betrayal, but to see this part of the webtoon of like the connection, it kind of tells us as a reader, like, wow, they're like this now. They're not just like eh, tolerating each other. They they created a bond where the thought of her going away hurts. So I like that. I like that soft, soft read. But I know after a soft or calm read, something big and dramatic is going to happen soon. So all right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, follow or support my Patreon page. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!